Tetralogy of Fallow describes a range of conditions characterized by a ventricular septal defect towards the outlet, the aorta overriding the ventricular septum, and a degree of pulmonary outflow obstruction. The arterial connection is concordant, the pulmonary artery arising from the right ventricle, and the aorta mainly from the left ventricle. The normal crossing relationship of the outflow tracts is therefore preserved. The four-chamber view is usually normal, but there may be a shift in the cardiac axis towards the left. An associated right aortic arch may be suspected from the position of the descending aorta. The ventricular septal defect is best seen in the left ventricular outflow view. There is malalignment at the outlet septum so that the aorta overrides the crest of the ventricular septum. The pulmonary artery is smaller than the aorta. The degree of pulmonary obstruction and the size of the pulmonary artery is very variable. In a classical example of Tetralogy of Fallot, there is muscular obstruction below the pulmonary valve and some narrowing of the valve itself, but forward flow is maintained through the valve. Doppler velocity across the pulmonary valve is normal or only mildly increased, and there is forward flow through the arterial duct. In some cases, there is pulmonary atresia, which may arise from simple fusion of valve leaflets or be more extensive with complete muscular obliteration of the right outflow and or absence of a patent pulmonary trunk. In pulmonary atresia, there will be reversed flow in the arterial duct, which is often small and tortuous. The branched pulmonary arteries may be small, deficient, and non-confluent. Where the branched pulmonary arteries are poorly developed, there are often aortopulmonary collateral vessels in addition. Absent pulmonary valve syndrome is a peculiar variant of Tetralogy of Fallot in which there is free regurgitation through the pulmonary valve, usually complete absence of the arterial duct and gross dilation of the branched pulmonary arteries, which may be even more marked than shown in this example. The prognosis is often dominated by severe airway problems due to bronchomalacia.